Bye, Trouble. Bye, Maisie. Bye, Ladybug. Hey, y'all. Good morning. It is the bright and early hour of 6 a.m. And I did not get nearly enough sleep. But I have a two hour drive back to College Station. I have a giant cup of water as well as a cup of coffee that I fixed for myself. It just has one serving of heavy whipping cream and some stevia. And so without further ado, I'm going to get on down the road. I will see y'all when I get to College Station. Check out this water. You can't really see it, but everything is under water. This, this weather is insane, y'all. Insane. We finally made it to College Station, but oh my golly, the weather was so awful this entire drive. It took me like 20 extra minutes. Like, it was crazy craziness. Just like pouring down rain, just pouring. It's gonna be really fun to unload all my junk. Bo, are you happy we're home? Are you so happy? I'm about to try and dodge this rain, unload my stuff, and then go get ready for the day. And by ready, I'm gonna put a hat on because there's no point in looking nice when the weather is this gross. He sleeps the whole way here, gets home, and goes back to sleep. Being a dog must be so hard, right, Bo? It's so hard. <laughs> Look at that nub. Look at that nub. Hey guys, so I look more like a put together human now. It is 9.50 and I am heading on over to class. I'm going to have to truck across the parking lot in this terrible, terrible rain. So. It's going to be a good old day, and I really like this lip color. It is Lolita by Kat Von D. And yeah, so time to go to class. I know we have a speaker today. Then I'll come back home and then get ready for my next class. When the weather is this like gross and rainy outside, I just have like no motivation to do anything, which is bad because I have so much to do. Love me. So I am just cuddling with Bo for a few minutes and then I think I'm going to go downstairs and cook some barbecue chicken for lunch because that just sounds really good. Oh big yawn! <laughs> so yeah, almost lunch time and then I have class. I'm going to use this sugar free hickory barbecue sauce for my barbecue chicken. I bought these chicken breast fillets at Target a little while ago because they were two dollars off and then I'm going to fry them in my little frying pan and then add a little bit of barbecue sauce. So that'll be my first meal of the day. Cooking this chicken took way longer than I thought it would. I only have like five minutes to eat this before I have to go back to class. But this is six ounces of chicken and one serving of sugar-free barbecue sauce. Hey y'all, so it is quite a bit later in the day. It is almost six o'clock and I am just getting home from class. This week I have one hell of a week. I have two exams a technical research paper, and a biochemistry quiz this week. I have a lot of knowledge to shove into this little noggin of mine. I don't know if it can contain it all. I think I need to go inside, hug on my puppy for a little while, but I have like zero food here. So I'm probably gonna make a trip over to the grocery store as well as the gym, hopefully later tonight. I'm going to throw together a quick tuna salad for my second meal of the day. I just have one of these tuna packets. 
I'm going to use two hard boiled eggs, one serving and a half of mayonnaise, and then a serving of dill relish. And remember, if you use relish, use dill, not sweet, because dill has zero carbs, just FYI. Here is my gross looking tuna salad that I have mixed up, but it tastes pretty good even though it doesn't look very good. I promise you y'all. I did season it with some pink salt and pepper, so I'm about to go chow down on this. I am about to head to the grocery store, but before I do, I really want one or two of my chocolate covered almonds that I made the other day. These are so good. I'm just gonna eat like these two. They're so good because you can just leave them in your fridge like that. And like what I do is I maybe snack on one or two at a time, maybe once or twice a day, and it keeps that sweet tooth in check. Alrighty guys, I am running up the street to go to H-E-B, which is my local grocery store. Going to go shopping for some things for the week because I am slap out of food. I need something so I can cook dinner later. Although I'm not hungry. That tuna salad has me full. On the way home from the grocery store, I stopped by the Starbucks and got myself a venti black iced coffee. I always say no classic syrup because that's the syrup that has sugar in it. Usually if you say sugar-free syrup, they won't put classic in there. But I always just, you know, overstep, make sure that they're not going to give me sugar I don't want. And then they added sugar-free cinnamon dolce and it's really, really good. And when I get inside, I'm going to add just a little splash of cashew milk. Just because for some reason, it's like really hard for me to drink coffee when it's black. I like it to be a little lighter in color. So I just add a splash of cashew milk because there's like virtually no calories in that. So that's what I'm going to do. I needed some energy because I have a lot to do tonight. So give me all the energy, coffee. Give me the energy. Here are the groceries I bought. I had two avocados, some asparagus, some mushrooms, some jalapeno peppers, as well as some sugar-free jello, some little light cheese wedges, some sausage, a little pint of Halo Top because ice cream, some Bolt House Classic Ranch, some unsweetened vanilla cashew milk, some Butter Bliss lettuce, some center cut bacon, some mini pepperonis, and some mozzarella cheese. It's now about 10 o'clock at night. Oh my golly, I don't know where this day has gone, but it has not gone in my favor. I have not gotten enough accomplished. Anyways, I just pulled up my fitness pal to see where I'm at for the day and I realized I have not eaten very much today and I'm assuming that is most likely due to me overeating yesterday and so my body just really isn't that hungry today. And I mean, if your body is not needing food, you don't need to, to eat. So. Right now, I'm sitting at 66 grams of protein, 3 grams of carbs, and only 31 grams of fat, which is way, way, way too low. Even though it's probably going to be about 11.30 when I get back home from the gym, I am going to make some sort of fat bomb type thing because I would like to get that to at least 70 grams because 31 grams of fat is just way 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 too low 
I'm at, I have like 900 calories left to eat today, which is so weird to me to have that many calories or macros left and I'm just not hungry. So, while, while I don't recommend eating if you're not hungry, there is a point that I'm about to go have a hard workout. I do need to have enough fuel in my body. I made this kind of disgusting fat bomb to round out my night to get me above 30 grams of fat. I did one serving of heavy whipping cream, 24 grams of this peanut butter. I just wanted to finish this off. One and a half tablespoons of coconut oil, one serving of this peanut butter powder, and a little stevia to sweeten it. And I stirred it all together and it is this concoction that's going to up my fat macros because I did not eat nearly enough. This like never happens. I don't know why I wasn't hungry, but this sludge is gonna have to do. Okay guys, first off, please ignore my appearance. I had a hat on and I was sweaty at the gym, so I'm a little bit of a hot mess. And it's like midnight. Number two, that little fat bomb thing I had, that was like 40 grams of fat, so we shall see if I pay for that. But I needed to up my fat. I'm at like 70 grams, which makes me feel a little bit better than the 30 I was sitting at before that. Especially because I just worked really hard at the gym. And last, Kat is about to get a little bit motivational on y'all, so I hope you don't mind. So earlier I did a leg workout at the gym and I kind of rounded it out with a little bit of cardio on the elliptical and while I was doing the elliptical I just started thinking and so I thought I would share some of these words that I need to hear with y'all because if I need to hear them I'm sure that y'all need to hear them just as much as me. So I'm sure some of y'all saw my video from yesterday. I was just kind of in just having a rough day and I was just thinking about that when I was on the elliptical earlier doing cardio so at some point or another me you your friends everyone we're all gonna face some kind of tough challenge a roadblock we're going to face adversity or something that completely changes our mindset and we literally have two options you can either give in and surrender or you can figure out a way to make things happen. Like I woke up yesterday just mad at myself, mad at the way I look, and I can sit here and sulk all I want, but at the end of the day, what is that going to do? It can't, I can sit here and be sad, but if I don't get up and do something about it, it's never going to change. I have to take initiative to get where I want to do what I want to do. If you sit back on your butt, you're not going to get the ass you want by sitting on it. As cliche as that sounds, you have to get up and work for it. There have been some things I never would have thought if I didn't like take a step, like reach out to people and try and get what I want. I challenge you to like seize any opportunity that you find I read each and every one of y'all's comments and I see that y'all, just like me, we sometimes go through these hard times or we ate something that we shouldn't have or you had a bad day. But you know what? If you give in and let that repeat tomorrow, you're just going to go into this never ending cycle and you're just going to get lower and lower and lower and you're going to just fall into this hole that you don't want to be in. So I challenge you to take that initiative, to do something, to step out of your comfort zone even. Like maybe you've been thinking of joining a gym or you know, maybe venturing over to the weight side. I challenge you to do that, to take that step. And if we do that, I can promise you, we are all going to see benefits. We're gonna become stronger. We're going to become more confident. It's just about taking that literal leap of faith and just not giving in to the challenges you are facing. We will overcome them. None of us 
are perfect. We're all going to have something that stands in our way. And it's just up to us. It's up to you. No one else can do it for you. You have to decide to take the high road, to take that step, to be the best. At the end of the day, we're not all guaranteed tomorrow. You can sit back and put it off another day, or you can just finally take that step. Guys, we can do it. I promise you, let's do this together. Okay, that was motivational speech with Kat. I needed to hear that. I hope that y'all needed to hear that too. And if not, just click away. But sometimes I just... <sighs> Literally, anytime I try to record, he has got to sit there and munch on his food. He has to eat it so loud. I hope that y'all enjoyed this full day of eating. I mean, I didn't really eat a lot, but it was a full day of eating. So please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I have a lot to study for my exams and papers and quizzes that are all this week. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Thank you so much for watching. I have been reading through all of the comments on my video from yesterday. And I was sitting there crying because some of y'all are just so kind and say such nice things. I truly appreciate it from the very bottom of my heart. I don't think I say thank you enough for y'all supporting me. So I love you so much, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys.